Wow, this is like, we are in a serious dilemma right now because we're literally down 17% on the day. Market closes in two minutes. We're under 32 cents and it's literally dropping as I'm watching it. This is unbelievable. This is crazy and this is the dilemma that we're in. It's like, do we sell right now and buy back and lower so we increase our share count, maybe save a little bit of money or do we keep holding because this is absolutely insane. And I've never seen a stock do this. I've never seen this before. And I'm sure a lot of you would agree with me. The RSI is completely broken through on the four hour time frame. We're trading at 1493 on the four hour. The crazy thing is the lowest the RSI has ever been is 1454 on the four hour. So we're like right there. This is like the breaking point, at least on the four hour time frame. Since Mullen has been public, we are at the lowest level on the RSI it has ever been on the four hour time frame. It just makes no sense. This is so oversold. There has to be a move up from here. And guys, in today's video, I'm just talking to you freely, right? On the daily, the lowest the RSI has ever been is 1569. We're at 1821 right now. So if you believe in any technicals, like this is just way oversold. This is absolutely insane. And it, it looks like they're just diluting the heck out of us. We're at 85 million in volume. This is the biggest volume day yet. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the biggest volume day we've ever had for Mullen stock. So what are we to do? Because Tesla's up, Lucid's up, called Lucid, let the Patreon know to probably buy in around 632. That's when I put that out. It's up right now. LAZR is up. A lot of stocks are up right now, especially some that I cover, but Mullen stock is getting dragged to the ground and it's it's just laughable at this point. I have a lot of money invested in Mullen stock. You may think I'm not invested. I've seen some people say, you're not invested. You have no idea how I'm invested in Mullen stock, but I definitely have some money in Mullen stock. And I've been trading Mullen stock, if you've been part of the channel before February 2023, and then when February 2023 came around, it's been a bloodbath. So what are we to do? Because there's no new news. David is completely quiet. Since his interview, this stock has tanked, I think, over like 70%. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. We have the other side of this party. Remember the, the duo right now? The other party is posting pictures online that I think are just unprofessional. Um, and it's just the situation, right? We have a lot of faith in certain people to bring this stock back up. But is it going to happen? I don't know. Market's closed now. Um, after hours, we're actually up a little bit. So yeah, this is very, just a very, very, very bad day. It's been a very bad week for Mullen stock. And it's absolutely insane. The weekly time frame is just a straight downtrend. The RSI is still above on the weekly. It's at 30 right now. Very oversold levels on a longer time frame. So if Mullen ever goes back up, and this is a big F because... This is just crazy. I don't know how low this is going to go. They're supposedly going into production. They say all these big things that are happening, but this stock has been completely destroyed. And I've never seen a stock like this. If anyone has ever seen a stock like this, please put the ticker symbol in the comments because I want to look at it. I want to look into that company. I want to see if there's any hope because this has been completely destroyed. I've been saying in my videos the last couple weeks that I'm not buying Mullen stock. This is not financial advice, of course. I'm not telling you to buy, sell, hold, or whatever you want to do with Mullen stock. I'm just covering the news for you, the charts, and doing my best to give you my honest opinion of what I think is happening next. And like I said yesterday, we were in the 40s. I said, it's not looking that good, and I could see us going to the 30s, the high 30s. Well, now we're in the low 30s, and... Um, I don't know where we're gonna go from here. Now, for them to do another reverse stock split, because I see that floating around, I believe there would have to be another meeting held if they wanted to do another reverse stock split. But if that's even needed, then that's a whole nother ordeal and a whole nother question on what the heck are you doing, Mullen Company? You're diluting us to death. This is a lot, this is very painful for a lot of people, I understand. It's hard to keep your sanity when you're seeing this. 
I know how many shares I hold of Molin stock. I haven't even looked at my portfolio for Molin. I've obviously been trading other stocks, but this is absolutely insane. And the question is, when is it gonna stop, David? I hope you see this video. I hope you give us some answers because we have been here. We have believed in your company. There's a lot of us that have high hopes for Molin Company in the future. Um, you guys have put out great news over the last 12 months. I give it to you guys for that. Amazing news. You definitely have gotten a lot of retail very excited about the potentials for Molin Company. Um, at this point, I think people just want their money back though. You know, I think that's where we're at. We are literally in a very depression state when it comes to the stock, I think, when you look at everybody as a whole. Um, and that's really all we want is we want this stock to go back up. I think it needs to be an explosive move. I need, I think you guys need to drop some massive news. I hope you're sitting on news right now. And I hope this is all just because you guys have bad agreements with certain people with these warrants and everything. And I hope one day that you actually drop the news that we all believe and they all believe and institutions believe and whoever else wants to put big money into Molin that they believe that Molin can be the number two next to Tesla as you have said multiple times. So guys, that's it for me. We will see what happens tomorrow, right? All I can say is I'm grateful to be here still. I'm grateful that I'm healthy. I'm grateful that this was a big lesson learned um, and we'll see what happens with Mullen Company in the future. As of right now, the best advice I could give anyone, being my own opinion, is this is just a hold. I wouldn't buy any more of, the, of this stock. I would definitely wait until news comes out, until sufficient news comes out and this stock starts to run a little bit. Um, I would not buy any more right now. Okay, but do what's best for you, of course, at the end of the day. Would always love a like on the video. Definitely helps the channel. I hope I've brought some value to you on this channel over the last six months and we're going to keep going. Have a good one.